Okay, uh, so this is our iPhone app. Um, we're still very early in this. This is really just a preview of what our app's going to be, and it's really here to sort of highlight the technology that we've got. We've got an unprecedented level of connectivity uh, in our cars. Our cars are always connected, and that enables us uh, to connect to our cars, enables our car owners to, to communicate with their cars uh, in real time in both directions whenever they need to. Our initial screen here is the charge screen. It's obviously important if you own an electric car. A uh, car's driving right now, so you could get a quick, at a glance, sense of what your state of charge, um, what your current range is. Um, but while you are charging, you get a lot more information. You get the rate of charge, um, how many miles per hour are going into the pack. Um, you get an estimated time to completion. Um, so if you think you're stopping the charge, you're using our fast charging technology and going to grab a bite to eat, you get a notification when charging is uh, complete. Um, move over to location. Um, just to sort of highlight our technology and our real-time ability, we're actually watching um, our white car driving in real time around our test track. Um, you know, this is something that completely leapfrogs any other car company's approach to connectivity. You know, we've got a real-time data stream um, coming out as the car is driving around the track, um, and you get speed as well. So here we'll see you're probably going to maybe even get close to we're at 90 going around the track. Um, and there's a lot of interesting ap applications for location. You know, when the car's not driving, you know, you can see where you are um, using your own phone's GPS. Um, so if you forgot where you parked in San Francisco, you can um, use Google Maps that's built into the phone or any kind of um, direction um, system to get walking directions to your car or if you forgot where you parked. Um, let me switch over to uh, climate. Um, you know, our car will have a lot of interesting features that will help you preserve uh, the cabin temperature uh, based on your own preferences and your desires. Uh, we'll have a schedule so we'll know when you're going to work in the morning to get the cabin at the right temperature. But there are also times when you just might be out and about and you have a strong sense that your car is going to be either really hot or really cold. Uh, because our cars are 100% electric, you don't have to worry about <clears throat> starting your engine. You know, you don't have to think about whether the car's in the garage and you're going to be putting out all those fumes or if it's in a, a parking garage. So you can always, at a glance, just bring this up, see the interior temperature. Um, if it's too hot or too cold, just at your fingertips, uh, turn the climate on or off and adjust your set temperature. Um, so this is really just a taste of where we're going with our mobile connectivity. Um, really the way our architecture is set up, um, all the capabilities that are in the car and running on the center display are available to us um, through a mobile application, also available through a web application. So in some sense, it's really up to us to decide what makes the most sense in a remote setting and just expose it.